In this video, we're going to be talking about my five best DB5 features so far. So the first one has to do with migrating your website from DB4 to DB5. This is a simple process. And to do that, you'd come over here to, of course, after installing DB5, you'd come over here to click on DB. And then you're going to notice that we have this uh, huge dashboard here, which has so many features. So the one to migrate to DB5 is right here. So all you have to do is to click on migrate to DB5. And then it will assess your website and then let you know if there's any issues. And after that, you can just migrate the site to DV5 Alpha. Now, you may be thinking, why is this feature very important? Now, if you're a design agency, freelance designer, or perhaps you've designed a website using DV4, well, this is the best way to migrate your website from the old way, which is DV4, up to DV5. So this process is very, very easy to do. I've tried it a few times, but bear in mind, DV5 is an alpha, but it was very, very seamless. I really loved uh, that this feature is, is there, and it makes the migration of websites from DV4 to DV5 much, much easier. All right, so let's move on to the next feature, and this has to do with the workflow. I mean, the interface of DV5 has completely changed. Now, let me show you. You know, before we used to uh, click on an um, on an element or on a module, and then it opens up a pop-up on the left, and then we have to close it and then open up another one. That was long. Nowadays, or at least now with DV5, all you have to do is to click on the item you need to edit, and the panel stays there on the right every single time. Let me show you what I mean. So at the moment, I've just clicked here. And you can see that it has changed to text. If I click here on my module, I mean on my section, you notice now we are working on the sections. No pop-ups. I don't need to go in and save a particular item. I just go in and I and I work on whatever it is that I need to work on. Same applies. If I just click here, I'm already on the button. I can now go in and start making all my changes on my button here. Very, very easy to use. Now, if you're a UI um, UX designer, you know that spacing is very, very important in design. Now, if you were designing this website, you'd look at that and say, okay, let me just add another element. Uh, and perhaps maybe this is a bunch of text. I know, of course, the text is not supposed to come here, but I'm just adding it anyways. Now, if I add another piece of uh, text here, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, you notice that all my elements, all my modules I'm adding here has a default height okay or a default spacing right here but if you're a ui ux designer you know that you have to go in and add specific values to make your design look much much better this is called proximity so you need to group things together that are that relate to each other and for you to be able to do that you need proper spacing but at first i say to myself well how am i going to know um how much space is between here? Well, there's a really cool feature here and it's called the X-ray. Now, if I switch that on, you notice that the space I have here and there is the same, but if I wanted to go in and really customize this space, it will be quite difficult for me to just look at and say, okay, uh, I need to remove it by this amount if I didn't have this X-ray item. Now, when you look at the top here, because here I use the proper way of spacing items. So here I have two uh, rem here I have one rem so you can see here these two relate to each other and the button is on its own and it looks fine so over here now if I didn't have this x-ray then I had to go in and guess how close I'd want this to be so having to uh, take a quick look here with the x-ray in I mean in actual fact is a really really good thing because you can really see how things are and where to add your space if you do need to add it very very good feature now, let's move on to the third one. Now, this one is very important for me because when I was using DV4, one of the things that really made me feel like, you know what, I need to choose a new page builder altogether was the speed. It was so bulky. It, I mean, it took time to, uh, to load up. Every time I saved something, wanted to open something, it really took a long time. And it was visible that it was really slow. So no matter what optimizations I had to put on my uh, DV4 site, it was really slow. But with DV5, it is super fast. I mean, it is so fast, it's unbelievable. So I've done some speed tests. There's some videos that I have on my channel where I've done some speed tests. It's very clear that DV5 is super fast. Now, not only that, we are, while we're on the topic of speed, they've also done away with shortcodes. 
DV4 was based on short codes. And it was so difficult to move from, let's say, uh, DV4 to any other page builder if you wanted to do so. Because what you'd be left with are all these short codes, a bunch of code. And this also contributed to making it super slow. So in DV5, this has now been built from the ground up. So there's no more short codes. It is super fast. And to be honest, it's a joy to work with. In fact, all my tutorials now and my sites are running on DV5 Alpha. I know I'm not supposed to be using Alpha on a production website, but that's what I'm using on DV4 because I'm super excited about the speed. It's really, really good. I mean, even if I start adding elements here, or even if I duplicate, I mean, look at how snappy that is. I mean, it's so fast that, I mean, it's, it's really amazing. Okay, so uh, let's move on to uh, the next thing. So the next thing I want to talk about here is the ability to save everything in um, in the cloud or even in my library. Now, I know we had this feature before, but the fact that we have it is also a good thing because sometimes you never know when uh, they want to upgrade You know, a, um, a page builder. You might be losing some features, but the fact that it's there is really, really cool. So let me show you. So if I were to come here to my uh, section settings here and I wanted to go in and... Uh, and save this notice that we have our export here so this is if i want to export it and then import it on another site this is where i'll go i'll give it a name and export it so if you wanted to save anything to the library this is where you'd come to you click here on this little button here it looks like a power button but <laughs> believe me this is what you need to do if you want to add anything to the library and you can see on the hover here you can see it says add to library okay so the next thing is Let's say perhaps you're working at night or you prefer to work in dark mode. Well, we didn't have this in DV4, but now we have it. So we have dark mode here. You click on that and right away you can see I am now in dark mode. So you may be saying, well, in dark mode, I don't like this color here. How do I change it? Well, you'd come over here to your builder settings and then you can go in and choose the colors that you want to work with. So right now I'm in dark mode. I can go to my color scheme here. I can choose orange. Maybe perhaps maybe that will be something that you may want to work with. Now I wish they had white here because that would really stand out really well on this uh, dark background. But anyway, we have our red here. If you wanted to use red, we also have green and so on. So that's what you'd uh, use if you want to use uh, say uh, dark mode and you wanted to change your colors. Okay, really cool. But I prefer uh, working in uh, in the normal mode. I mean, at least that's what I'm used to at the moment. Now, let's move on to the next feature. And this feature here, again, makes things super easy when working with DV5. And that is responsive editing. So let's say I want to um, work on my mobile views. All I need to do is to click here on tablet. Okay. Now, everything that I'm going to do while I'm in this mode is affecting pretty much the um, tablet view. So if I come over here, make some changes, I'll come over here as normal, go to my design, for example, go to my text. If I need to uh, align things to the left, this, I don't need to save this and then go and open up another item. No, everything is happening right here. So let's say I want this button here centered. I'll just come over here. I'll do all my settings while I'm here in this in this uh, tablet view. Everything I need to do, I'll do it here. And it will be saved in this. So, like I said, I really love the simplicity of this. Next, if I need to do anything on the phone, I would come over here again. I would go in and make all my changes here on the phone mode, go to my text. Maybe I want to center this. If I need to move on to a next item that I want to work with, uh, I could come over here and start making all my uh, customizations for this phone mode. And this just makes the, the, the whole process of uh, mobile or responsive editing much, much easier because it's all done once and once for all. You don't have to go into each and every module to make all these changes. Okay, so uh, let's, for example, save this. Now, the next feature uh, that I want to talk about is the, um, in fact, let me head over here and show you. If I go over here to the dashboard and go to Divi, if we take a look at the theme builder here, we notice that our theme builder, just like before in Divi 4, 
is there. We still have it. So you can make all your major changes here as normal. So let's say, for example, I want to design all my blog posts on this website. All I have to do is to come to one central place and make all my changes over here. And this is how my um, uh, blog posts are going to look like. So I'm really glad that we also have the uh, theme builder and it hasn't really moved away from how we had it before because this is one of the most powerful features of Divi. Even when it was introduced in Divi 4, this was really, really powerful. In fact, Divi does it way different to how the other page builders do it. It's very, very easy to use and I'm glad that it's there in Divi 4. Now, my final feature, okay, it's not really a feature, but it's something that I like about Divi as a whole, and that's the pricing. The pricing here is fantastic. Now, take a look at this. If I scroll down over here, we notice that we have Divi. So they have two options. If you want, you can pay yearly, which is $67 uh, per year to get the, uh, the updates. And by the way, right now is Black Friday, so there is a huge offer. You can see here it's going for sixty-seven dollars from down from eighty-nine. But what I'm really here for is the lifetime membership. Now, with this lifetime, you all you have to do is to pay a hundred and eighty-seven. Of course, right now there's a uh, there's a discount, twenty-five percent off, and you get updates forever. Now, this is a product which is being updated, and I, I mean, I've worked with Elegant Themes before. It's a fantastic team, and they are really working hard to making Divi really, really awesome. So, it's not a page builder you're going to uh, purchase today, and then no updates happen. I mean, they're really working like crazy behind the scenes to, to bring all these awesome features, and I... You know, I trust them and I believe in them. If it was uh, a product that I didn't trust, I wouldn't be doing any videos on Divi at the moment and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be designing my websites with Divi anyways. But this is a very, very good offer. 187 unlimited websites. You can design as many websites as you want for 187 and guaranteed, if you design one website after purchasing the lifetime license, you'll get your money back. And then in the meantime, you have... A license that will last you pretty much uh, forever because this is a one-time payment. Okay, so let's just take, uh, quickly take a look here at what you get with this lifetime. So you get updates to uh, the DV theme and the builder. It includes all DV features, uh, DV quick sites. So if you're someone who wants to build websites super fast, quick sites is, in, uh, is included. Um, 300 plus pre-made layouts already there as well. And of course, unlimited usage. You also have Divi Dash. This is where you manage all your websites. Pretty cool, this for your, uh, especially for a design agency. Now, over here, we also have another product. This one here is called um, Divi Lifetime Plus Pro Services. So if you're a really uh, design agency or you're a super um, team that works on designing websites, this is what you need because this now comes with features like AI. So you have your Divi AI included, you have your Divi Cloud, you have your Divi VIP, you also have Divi Teams to uh, invite all your team members. So as you can see, this is super, super awesome. Now over here, you also have $50 uh, marketplace credit, uh, which you can go and pick whatever you want from the marketplace. These are all elements that makes your design process much, much easier. And of course, 24 seven support. So all in all, as you can see here, I'm super excited about Divi 5 and I've actually created a framework for Divi 5 to make the design process even really, really cool. So anyway, go and check out uh, Divi 5. I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. And by the way, if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you a special invite to Divi University, a place where you can hang out with other Divi designers and there's a lot of free items there as well. The link to that is in the video description below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.